And finally, the last sample problem is sample problem number two. At a particular temperature, K is equal to 3.75. If all four gases had initial concentrations of 0 0.800, calculate their equilibrium concentrations. Okay, let's go ahead and set it up, I, C, and E. So 0 0.800 molar, initial, 0 0.800 molar, 0 0.800 molar, and 0 0.800 molar. Now, because we have uh, non-zero uh, amounts of all reactants and products, we don't know which way we're going to shift. And so this is a twist on things, and now we have to solve for Q. So Q is going to tell us which way we're going to shift. So this is going to be equal to concentration of SO3 initial times the concentration of NO initial divided by concentration of SO2 initial times the concentration of NO2 initial. And that's just going to be equal to uh, 1, everybody, 1.00, which is going to be less than K. And because Q is less than K, that means we are going to shift to the right. Therefore, the sign that goes here is going to be minus X. This is minus X. This is plus X. This is plus X. And so we're going to get 0 0.800 minus X. 0 0.800 minus X. This is going to be 0 0.800 plus X. This is going to be 0 0.800 plus X, everybody. So K is equal to 3.75, and that's equal to 0 0.800 plus X squared divided by 0 0.800 minus X squared. So we can use a what we call a perfect squares to solve for this. And so the square root of both sides, everybody, is what we're going to do next. And when we go ahead and do that, we're going to get 1.93 is equal to 0 0.800 plus x divided by 0 0.800 minus x. When all is said and done, x is going to be equal to 0 0.25 molar. And all we do next is simply plug it back into all of the expressions at equilibrium. So the concentration of SO3 at equilibrium is equal to the concentration of NO at equilibrium, and that's going to be 0 0.800 plus 0.25. I'll let you guys do the sum. You know, that's going to be 1.05 uh, zero zero molar. And the concentration of SO2 at equilibrium is equal to the concentration of NO2 at equilibrium. And that's going to be equal to 0 0.800 zero minus 0 0.25, everybody. And we're going to get 0 0.55 molar for these guys. Okay, so that, everybody, is use of the ice table um, when we have all four initial values present. Once again, you've got to find uh, which way it's going to shift, and you do that by evaluating Q. All right, so that's our lecture from General Chemistry on the principles of chemical uh, equilibria. And I want to thank you for your time, and I'll see you next time on educator.com.